Hey everyone, this is Vendra Hardwar from Engadget, and I'm looking at the new Form uh, iPad case from Tactus, and this is not your normal iPad case. Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm Craig Chesser from Tactus. Hi. And Hi, RK Barthas Harvey. Howdy. So you guys, you've developed the technology of the uh, rising keyboard screen, right? Can you show me That's how that right. works? Sure. So this is our, our first product, uh, Form. It's mm -hmm. a case and uh, keyboard accessory for a iPad mini. Mm -hmm. And what we have here is a case and then our, our panel technology on the front of the screen. And what we're able to do is we're able to go from the normally flat surface to a morph surface, a raised surface, where the, the surface basically comes alive. Okay. So we have these what we call finger guides that come out of the screen and help improve the usability mm -hmm. of, of, of the keyboard. Cool. So okay. now there are like slight bumps here. On the, can you yeah. hold it kind of from the side too? Like that. So you can see that. Yep. Uh, yeah, very cool. Okay. And you activated that by uh, right. sliding something in the back. So this is yeah. So it's it's all about usability. And what mm -hmm. we've we've got here is a slider on the back, which you can use to turn our finger guides on and off. Gotcha. So your hands are already here when you type. And what you do is you can just turn it on simply by pulling the slider to the side. Mm -hmm. The finger guides come up. Then you improve the typing. And when you're finished, then you just slide it back the other way. And then when in the off state then you don't see or feel the, the finger guides. It's just they, totally flat. They, they recede back into and the And you're screen. saying the case uh, actually holds a bit of liquid in the back? That's how this is working? Yeah, so the way it's working is our microfluidic panel sits on the screen mm -hmm. and there's a little reservoir full of liquids on the side. Mm -hmm. And this is all uh, sealed up and, and uh, tested for robustness. And then the, uh, the what the slider is doing is it's basically pushing the fluid from the reservoir into the finger guides. Okay? Gotcha. That, can can I, we see it uh, kind of rise up and down again? Sure. So let me just go back to the, the off state. Mm -hmm. Okay, so turning on. Cool. So the guy the guides ride up, rise up very quickly. Gotcha. And they're they are unusable right away. I mean you what we're what we're doing here is we're using the standard iOS keyboard. Mm -hmm. So we're not taking we're not uh, introducing a new piece of software, it's to work with the, the native iOS keyboard. Mm -hmm. So you touch type normally uh, uh -huh. on a touch screen the way you, you always do, and the finger guides act as bumpers for your fingers or thumbs. Mm -hmm. And this uh, this works with uh, the standard iOS keyboard, also the most popular third-party keyboards that are now available on iOS as well, so Swift Key Swipe and others. You're going to be available soon, but it's going to support all the iPad minis? Yes, yes, okay. all all the, the three models that Apple has released. Gotcha. And pricing and availability? Uh, so pre-orders pre start uh, at $99. And then the uh, full retail will be 149. Excellent. And available this summer. Okay, and what this one? Is, so this is now an engineering demo. And this is this okay. is done with our, our partner Wistron, where we've taken an existing shipping Android tablet, uh -huh. and what we've we're showing here is just the the integration. So rather than it being an accessory, where what we have here is we have an integrated unit. So that we've replaced the, the normal cover glass with a tactus panel, mm -hmm. and then we've done some updates to the software such that any application that calls the keyboard will automatically turn on. The, the finger guides. Gotcha. And then when you exit out of the app and the keyboard goes away, so do the finger guides. Okay. So this is what's coming next mm -hmm. in terms of the, the, the next generation. So it'll be a family of accessory products to get this to market now and then eventually you'll, you'll see this in integrated units as well. Very cool. And uh, just the way this technology works, you were saying since it's integrated, it's actually even a little lighter. Yeah. So actually, if you compare, drill? yeah, if mm -hmm. you compare what, this tablet, I mean, it's it's uh, about 15 grams lighter than mm -hmm. the original tablet, uh, even with all the control integrated. So some space savings. Uh, the, the panel's also shatterproof because of the, the polymers that we use to, to manufacture the. Gotcha. Can we see uh, the other sides of this uh, tablet too? Sure. So nothing like this is so this nothing is, special in the back. No, and this yeah. is the original form factor mm -hmm. of this tablet. So we didn't make any external changes to the case. Uh, the only changes is, is, is in the panel with this 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 prototype panel.